Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to uh, Wrath of the Righteous. We are doing the Wardstone Patrol, and I screwed up Kyra's turn pretty badly last time, so we're actually back at the end. Basically, for some reason, I completely forgot that uh, he is immune to fire trait. This guy's like a fire demon. He's got lava for blood. He's immune to fire. So I killed him with the fire blade at the end of the last turn. Huge disaster. So what I've done, I've recreated the game state. So because it was the last character, no one else is affected. Uh, we use one of Honora's blessings during Kara's turn. And this is what her hand looked like before we started. I'll just shuffle her deck just so you know I don't know what's going on there. And... I actually peeked at the cards in this location when I discarded them. So I just fished out those cards again. So I know what they are, but it doesn't really matter. We've got an agility, the monster, which we saw already through natural play and uh, the blessing. So I'll just uh, another shuffle. And we basically just need to replay this part of the turn before we can continue. So we know we can't use the fire blade. Now we still need to do a 12 combat to defeat and she only has a six dexterity, okay? So we've got a six. We do have Sir Illyvan who gives us a 1d8 and I'm gonna spend one of these and one of these to get another two d6s and that should hopefully do it we need 12 yoink 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 whoa just make it <laughs> okay so we do kill him this guy goes back into our hand yoink and now we need to do the success at a wisdom seven check so we're going to do the same thing we're going to spend another ascension we're going to go 12 12 plus two oops i forgot to take out all the other dice <clears throat> Your pardon 12 12 and two and we need seven okay that's a 10 nice so what this basically means is that the game state, even with the error, was almost identical. We still closed the location. The only difference is, is that we still have Fireblade in Kara's hand and Anora spent both her blessings. So that is that. Okay, so let's uh, draw back to two. And now we got to actually start the next round. So let's do this. We are, Alan is at the armory. Nothing really fancy there. There's not even monsters. So it's advanced blessing deck and your blammo. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's really cool. Uh, Bemorak, let's do this. So we know what's going on here because we just did it. We've got the mace, which does have bludgeoning because basically if you have anything with piercing or slashing, he bleeds on you and that hurts you. But we've got the mace, so apparently his blood doesn't splatter. So that is a D10 plus two plus a D8. And then I'm also going to use Doverhan here. Put this card on top of your deck to add one D8. So I've got two D8s, a D10 and a two. I think that should be enough. Come on. Bam. 16. Okay, so that's that done. And summon and acquire a random weapon. So as long as this weapon has strength, will be good. It does. That's a sickle. Strength merely. So that is a D10 plus two. So we only need a three to get this. Come on. Whoa. Okay, that's a pass. 
and this goes back in our hand and when uh, where is it this one here when you acquire a weapon you may draw a card so we get to draw a card get our horsey back and then on closing no effect okay so it's the end of our turn we're going to now do dohan again uh, we'll just chuck out all of them and move back to the family tomb. And now I'm going to discard Longsword and the Sickle and draw one card. Okay. Nice. That was a pretty good opening. Draw the card and we go one, two, three to draw the thing over. We do go, we do go, we dago. Okay, so the vault of staffing is a six plus one, plus we also have 12 plus one because of his skill. And we have the Sage's Journal, which is a plus four. Yoink. Let's do this. Yeah, blammo. Okay, so he is gone. And now we actually get to do our explore. What you got for us? Bolas, range dexterity. We've got a dexterity six, so might as well do that. Yoink. We get a five. And we have no way of continuing our turn. We are going to discard this guy. And... One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Very slow turns with him. Got to, uh, I might put Mastiff onto his team. In fact, I'm going to use Mastiff right now. I put down Mastiff and I draw two cards. Now, this says at the end of your turn, discard this card. I'm not quite sure of the timing. I think it means that Mastiff ends up on the top of your discard pile. Because I could discard him now, but other cards go on top. So basically, it says display this card. So he stays out here for the whole turn, and then at the end of your turn, he goes on the discard pile. So I think that's designed to put Mastiff on the top of the discard pile to make it easier to recur if you've got ways of drawing from the bottom. Anyway, whatever. The point is, we are now going to draw our location. Yoink! Spike Trap, Wisdom Perception 7. We actually have Wisdom uh, or Dexterity Acrobats. Okay, so we've got Wisdom, which is a 8-1. If undefeated, each character's location is dealt a 1d4. Okay. Now, let's have a quick look at this. If you fail a check to defeat a Bane, it doesn't say Trap, it doesn't say Monster, any Bane... So the question is, we need a seven. We need a seven, yeah. And we need a six, a six of an eight. Not too good. So I am going to spend an ascension and get another D8. Hopefully that will make us pass this. Okay, we definitely pass it. And... That was the wrong thing to do. Okay. So now I'm going to do a blessing to explore again. Yoink. Oh. It's the big boss. He's in here. Okay. So we, are, we have three locations closed. What have we got here? Uh, succeeded a strength test. Okay, so... Oh, wait, that's her location. He just has to fight the henchman and beat him. So we should be able to close this one. Let's see if it, how it goes. Eight, so that does not close. This guy needs to summon and defeat a right wraith or whatever. He 
He's immune to mental, he's immune to poison. He deals one combat damage to a random character at your location. One combat damage. I guess I will get rid of the carbuncle. And now we just need to do a combat. Uh, I'm just going to do a improvised dinosaur. I don't really want to do an improvised dinosaur. The problem with the improvised dinosaur is that you have to discard your entire hand to end your turn at the end of your turn and end your turn immediately. So by using the dinosaur now, I won't have the end of turn affect me, but I still have to discard my whole hand and we need the mace to avoid the fire damage when we fight the demons. I still feel like I want to get it out of my hand, so we'll go a D10 plus a D20 and I'll put this on top of my deck to add a D8 and that should definitely kill this guy, right? Ooh, 25, we rolled a natural 20. Awesome. Okay, so this thing is discarded. These guys are discarded. Oh, wait, the difference is if I do it during my turn here, I don't get to, I don't get to redraw before my turn starts. Yeah, so we're not gonna do that. Instead, uh, I'll just do a normal mace attack, which is a D8 plus the D8 from the horse, plus two plus the D8 from the mace. So that's three D8s and a plus two. We need 10. Easy win into our hand. Okay. So he's closed his location. And she needs to do a wisdom survival eight check. So her survival is actually really good. It's an eight three. Uh, what, what number do we need again? So we need an eight. That means on a on her roll, we need an, a five off an eight. So it's pretty bad odds. But the thing is, I don't want to spend any resources on this because we can't win the game through it so we'll just risk it give us something good it would be really nice if we do close it though which we don't okay so that's bad so we have one we have one two three four open locations okay i may as well turn that over now since uh it's about to be shuffled okie dokie He's immune to electricity and fire. All damage is fire damage. Before you act, each character is dealt one fire damage. We will... Uh, this guy's down here, so we can't actually... Oh, can I discard displayed cards? Because I want to keep both the recruit and the cure. Wow, I need 15 to hit this guy. He's got the piercing trait. I think we're going to lose our hand regardless, because even if we get the 15, we'll, we'll suffer a 1d4 plus 1 fire. So I don't think there's any chance of us actually getting away with any cards in our hand. So I'm going to discard the cure for that initial combat damage. Then I'm going to do a discarded pick, which is d8 plus 1, 2, 3 plus a d8, plus a d6, and now sixes are worth sevens. Now, I really need to could complete this, but we have no blessings of any sort. So, let's just roll it. We want a 15. Come on. Go, luckiness. 12. We're going to recharge the recruit. Come on. Come on. Oh, beautiful. 17. Did it. We do suffer the damage, but we've got no cards in hand. So, what happens now is we'll just uh, discard all these. Is that 
we take our daemon and we take, we've got one, two, three, four open locations. So we are going to grab one, two, three blessings. And the reason why you have, it's really important to win is because if we failed that roll, we do the same thing, except we take the blessings from our stack up here, which is a huge difference. And now we've got four of these and we just go one, two, three, four. So we no longer know where this guy is, but we know he's not in the family tomb. Okay, and now we draw to four, one, two, three, four. Slashing, ascension, okay, so we've got, got a good thing here. Okay, so after all that, it is now time for Adwin's turn. She cannot use uh, allies, can she? Okay, let's uh, draw the first card. She's got no way to continue her turn. Oh, yes, she does. Let's get this thing. Her charisma is a D4, so we're going to do Divine Wisdom, which is an 8 plus 1. So we need a 4. 50-50. Let's do this. Oh, wait. I should use uh, this thing here, actually. I said that before I rolled. I said that before I rolled. So the way this works is... Uh, this... Wait, it has the, it does not have the, I should put on my, I forgot to put on my chat so you can see my rolls. Okay, so it doesn't have, I'm going to have to add the, if the blessing is corrupted or not into this readout. But basically this blessing is not corrupted, okay? So we can recharge this card to add 2d4 to a non-combat check. Okay. So 2d4, blammo. Okay, so now we're going to use that to explore. Temptation of Invincibility. Draw three armors from the box. Okay, so one, two, three. I don't really like any of these armors. So basically what this is saying is you can draw three armors from the box. Later on, it allows you to draw non-basic armors. You can choose one and add it to your hand if you want. But if you added any barriers to your hand, you banish this barrier and draw a random barrier to replace it and shuffle it into the deck. So if you choose not to take anything, the barrier just disappears and we're not going to take anything. So let's go Yablamo. One, two, three, four, and we'll draw one more for five. Oh, and this thing gets shuffled under here. Yoink. Okay, so that was a pretty decent turn. Now, what are we going to do with her? She is... I feel like this place is a bad place to go because it's got so... Oh, yeah, it's got so many... Yeah, I feel like this is a bad place to go because there's just so many... Uh, Monsters and barriers. I'll, I'll go there last kind of thing. I guess she'll go to the cavern Bam yoink It's a worm he's immune to electricity and poison So we'll do a force missile. Do we have any missiles in the scarred pile? No, that's a d12 plus one plus two d4s. We're rolling for a 10 here. Yoink. Wow, that is a terrible miss. We'll recharge our soldier. Bam, 13. That is a pass. We'll... Now roll for the recharge of the spell. And that is a fail. 
we have no way to actually continue our turn. So let's uh, draw to six. We've got four cards left. Right. So let me think. This is a wisdom check to close. So I'm going to send Kyra over here. She's going to reveal this card and do a heal on herself. It's only two. <laughs> oh, bit of advanced blessing deck. And. I'm going to discard the sword breaker. Oh, and at the beginning of a turn, during the during the give a card step, reveal to give it to another person. I'm going to give this to my dude over here. And I think I'll get rid of the magic shield as well. Bam. Beautiful, We've got a cure in hand now. We've got the mace. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so that was an interesting turn. Didn't go too well, but we did close one other location. So what my plan is now is for this guy to basically get another person here who can kill that henchman, maybe Anora, and then He's going to use his mount to travel to the caravan at the end of his turn. And at the beginning of his turn, travel back here. So we never actually draw from the canyon, but we're able to close it when we need to. That is my current plan. And I'm giving him uh, this thing here so he can do better combat. Actually, I think I'll give it to uh, Sheila. Yeah, giving it to Sheila. Okay, that's the end of that turn. That didn't go very well, but better than nothing. Uh, I feel like I feel like I'm a bit behind right now. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. We have another three rounds, but I, I still feel a little bit behind. Okay, I will see you guys next.